We're live. What's up, y'all? So today we've been crazy busy packing up orders. The rounds have been such an amazing headache to deal with. Um, but I know you guys will love them once they get to you. I feel so stumpy. Like you're on the chair. shortest one. Mer. Shortest one. Oh, Mo wants to say yeah. hi. He looks like this. It looks like we're like in Russia right now. <laughs> you saying hi to everybody who did? No. What up, Zori? All right, so. Are you well, gonna explain how today we saw a lot of people asking oh, a lot of questions? Nobody in here. Oh, there's two, two one, two. Yeah. Well, obviously the watching count is not accurate if there's three people talking. There's two people talking. Whatever. They'll be here. Yes. I'm just going to wait until people get here. All right. Well, I'm going to see. There they are. There's the flood. The flood of people. The flood of fam. All right. So I'm going to try something kind of fun today. I mean, it's always fun, but we're going to try to do something that... People have, I just saw somebody uh, post about it. You need something to drink? No. Hello, 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 hello. It's the only thing I don't like about having a new monitor over there is that if I just look straight on, I can't read it because my glasses are like, I have to put my head up <laughs> to look right here to read things far away and up close. Oh yeah, did anybody ever figure out how we can turn off our no our no notifications so that people don't hear them? I think it's on our YouTube, on our computer that aren't turned off. You know say. So, today, Jeffrey's gonna do an experiment to see if our theory is true about how to prevent your powder colors from fading into the background. Theory one, don't do any kind of flood base resin and then your colors will have nothing to dilute into, right? Because that happens if you use a lot of clear on your base. Right? Yeah, but that's what we're doing. I know, but theory two is is that that black and this white kind of eats up yeah. what you pour. And so for this test, we are going to only uh, rule out one of those things in that we're going to have the base coat and we're only going to put just a little bit of this and that in there because the thing is, I like to use that all the time because that's what gives me my amazing cells, right? It gives it some movement. So, test number one is going to be tonight, and we're going to see if just putting a little bit of this and or that in there, if that will solve the problem. Um, beyond, I don't think that will mess with the colors. It depends on if it's a gloss or a flat base paint, and also you may lose some of your sparkle. Still like because it's cold. Cold things leave things floppy. Oh, I want to show people the results of are this. This. Yeah. So I don't know if y'all watched yesterday's video, but I did a test on this new tape from Walder Strong, and I'm going to peel it off. It's been setting for now 24 hours. 
it is like a rock let's see how it does <gasps> how it do like it do super well let me put you guys on over don't get the resin on the outside of the tape <laughs> i'm pretty sure that the orange stuff works though as well but it works on the tape and on the outside really just it's because i like it trash can it's because I love ya, B. It's because I love ya. Love ya. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's getting fuzzy. I need to take autofocus off. It's like coming off super clean. Like I know when I use the aluminum tape, I would have problems where it would, now it's starting to splinter right after I said that. But let's just see. Nice, very nice. Happy birthday, Zachy. So there we go. It did really well. And it gave me this nice thick layer that I will resin down and polish. All this that's here is from the first layer of resin that I had down. I should have cleaned this off to get a true test and see. Um, Janice, I will get right on that right after the video. I'm gonna take your name down right now if I can find a pen. <laughs> If I can find a pen. What's happening? I'm just looking at that. I don't know if I like that chat way up there. I can't. <laughs> So then actually. we'll take it down. Janice. Lockhead. Nope. What is six? All right, I got your name down, Janice. I will take care of that for you. So, let's see. So, for the sides, sorry, raspberry and teal will work together. I would also add gold. Um, coaster info, we got some in today, but they just filled in the back order that we had. Um, I wasn't thinking. I posted that earlier. What kind of tape and resin? The tape was by Walder Strong. It is... Let me switch you guys over. Back over. It is a white tape. It looks like this. It's got green lettering on the inside. It's about two inches. No, inch and a half. I will... See if I can find it on Amazon and I'll link that for you guys. In. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, sour cream, but you're not that late. I'm glad you're here. A lot of people are having the problem of not getting. They say that to say to unsubscribe and then to su subscribe and then hit the bell button again. Yeah. That's what. That's what we hear. I don't know. Yeah. So for the sides, I'm going to sand them down. There is, as with any time you um, tape off, you're going to have this like little whoop. And so what I'm going to do is probably exacto blade that off a little bit and then hit it with a heat gun to smooth it. But I'll do a video on that for you guys. So no fear. Did you hear that? They just got that comment. 
What? I, I heard it. Yep. Doo -doo -doo. How did you hear it? It's muted. I just heard it. There's no way you heard it off of this. Okay, well. I, I'm, I'll figure it out. I heard it. Thank you, Clara. So, I'm still trying to figure out how to mute these notifications that keep popping up. I have no idea what goes on. But that's not anything unusual. Mr. Scobo, what's up? Received your coasters yesterday. I'm glad you got them, Ginger. Let me know how it goes. Don't forget to leave one side of the backing on so that you have a clean base. Zaggy said Jeff's magic, that's how. <sighs> I'm gonna figure it out. Cause it's muted. I guess that's just the speakers. Hi, Miss. Go lay down. Kuja, go lay down. Just because you're cute. Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna. I'm gonna figure it out. Hearing it. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. All right, but you talk while I figure this out. Talk, talk, and talking, talk, 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 walk, talking. Oh, he dropped his little. He dropped the present. It's over there. Present. We can use these. Hi, this. Randy. Oh, same size. Same size. <laughs> Connected for some reason. It's green again. Okay, go ahead. Sorry about that, y'all. Oops, offline. It's back now. They go with the multiple voices in my head. All yeah. right, Toby. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I think I figured it out. We'll see next time one pops up. Okay, so I don't know why I want to do this, but I just want to, I want to see what it's going to look like, okay? I'll find out, Linda. I'm going to put just a tad bit black. You guys, why does it look so blurry? Because it just came back in. Um, just a little bit, just a teeny bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the opposite on the opposite. So I'm going to put just a tad bit of black in here. And that is Stone Coat's black. Okay. So. You're on overhead if you need to share. You have just a, a tiny bit, like not even, it's most likely going to be transparent. Okay. That's actually probably more than what I wanted. But it's obviously not. And it's so dark and it looks like crap. Hold on. Yes, Kathy, I will. <clears throat> so I'm just putting just enough to change it, okay? I'm going to do the same with the white. I'm just going to put just a little bit. Put the same amount. Should be. Oops. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Nope. Man, that white really like... You didn't have to put a lot in there. Wow. You guys saw that. I put just a tad bit in there. It's opaque. Like, well, yeah. So this is what I'm going to do. 
I'm gonna put the white over the black and the black over the white. I don't know why I wanna do that, I just wanna do it. And then I'm gonna take Hi, Donna Parker. Dan, your order will be going out soon too. Put a pretty good amount. You always want to. You always want to put your powder in first. Nope, doesn't help. It's because there's so much white. Like we had a white background, white. It's better. I'm gonna put. Than I'm gonna was. put a generous amount. Hi, Laura Taylor. I'm not gonna make a lot, but Thanks, I wanna Maggie. make sure that we get quite a bit. No, we're not doing, I'm gonna open coasters back up probably. Hopefully we get some Saturday. Saturday. Like, I'm praying we get some Saturday. Even if we have to overnight them, which is real expensive. <laughs> but. He's making them tonight, and then he's gonna. And then he's gonna. My brother's making them, which he does uh, after he gets done. He's a teacher. He teaches like art and uh, math to like fifth graders, crazy kids. All right, we're gonna use purple topaz. Use a little bit of turquoise. Oh, that's not good. Don't breathe that in, kids. I didn't mean to do that. Purple topaz. Mm -hmm. And then, what is that, turquoise? Yes. And rose red, which is a really nice color. All these are... I'm trying to list the colors real quick. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit left. Okay, I'm back. This is a great color right here, y'all. He should put the fifth graders to work making coasters, right? We're thinking about <laughs> investing in our own CNC machine. This is a laser. It's not a CNC. You Whatever. Always, you always get that mixed up. I do. It's a big difference. <laughs> this is a laser. 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 CNC is a, a wood cutting. Um, the white that we're using tonight is from Stone Coat. Erica, can you mention how Jeff worked with resin rash that helped heal his injury? Someone here has that issue. Thanks. Um, I asked a, uh, a nurse friend of mine, doctor, nurse, whatever he is. He's a nurse. Um, he said, Erica, can you? Oh. Um, to not put anything on it. Don't put any ointments. Don't put creams. Don't put neosporin. Don't put anything on it. Basically what it is, it's a, a chemical burn. Um, you want to keep it dry as possible. Clean it, dry it, leave it clean. Um, I, I, I put a little bit of alcohol so it would dry it out, just leave it. I mean, I would kind of wipe it and if I would wash my hands and I would be doing stuff, I would wipe, you know, the area with alcohol and just let it dry, just let it dry out. I had it wherever I, you know, pull my gloves off and I, I'm pretty sure because I'd grab my necklace or my shirt I had it right here and I most likely had it, you know, messing with it and it got in my fingernails and I 
would itch my eyes and then I got it on my eyelids. Like, that was not fun. So what did you end up doing? Just just leaving it. Don't put... You put that um, clarified water. What was it called? Distilled water. Distilled water. He had to wash it with distilled water. Oh, there's blue powder all over this. <laughs> well, this might turn light blue. How about burns from the heat gun? Um... You just put some Neosporin on that bad boy and hope it goes away. Mine didn't. I still have this one from January. Right. Yeah, Clara, I would probably forego the makeup till the resin rash goes away. Will you guys be there around the 16th? I want to come by and get some products. We will be here because we have class the 15th and 16th. That's awesome, Anne. There is a hoax going around about a sever resin reaction also. A what? Severe. It, oh. is, it is light enough, so it didn't really make it that opaque, but I'm glad. You can still kind of see the black through it. That's true, Robin. Yeah, Aquaphor and Mederma are also good. Bright Sour Cream, it does look like a club stamp. <laughs> what up, Jen? I can assure you I did not go clubbing for this one. I was actually doing countertops. What's up, Manda Panda? Donna Parker says, so what goodies are you bringing to Adelaide for me to buy, you guys? We're going to have as much merch as we can gear up for. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to work unless we just have some made down there. Tell Jerry we said hi. What's up, Leslie? All right, so if you're just joining us. I put a tad. Sue has a question about spray paint. Okay. Before I lose it. I have a spray paint can get stuck and the paint won't stop. Whoa. You have to pull that tip out. Ooh. Yeah, it's a bad tip. That's what she said. <laughs> the mark you get in the ATD club, pretty much. Molly, your um, hoodie went out today. Congrats, Anna. What's up, Rusty? Um... So proceed about, if you're new today, this is what's going on. Oh, so what I did is painted this canvas white and black, which is spray paint. Then I put a little bit of stone coat white base into the resin. I'm talking a little bit, as you can see, it's very light. Um, and the same with the black, just a teeny bit, just to give it a hint of color, but I poured them on the opposite sides. Um, I don't know why I wanted to do it. It just kind of was, it seemed like I wanted to. So I did it. Um, and then what we're going to do is do a swipe with just powders. No paste, no tints, nothing. And just to see if we can get... A pretty good solid uh, swipe with just powders because people have been complaining about their powders have been disappearing into the into their background which it makes sense if you put a lot of you know if you have a, a background that's black you want to you want to make your flood coat black so you probably put a little bit more so it's you know pretty dark so when you swipe it, it looks great, but then when it starts to settle, that black starts to eat it up, and then the white does the same thing too. So, where is my, sorry, I got a piece of hair in here. Um, they just kind of start to eat, you know, eat up the color, and it kind of dissolves into the paint the next day, and it doesn't look the same. 
So I'm thinking there's probably a little bit, well, a lot, way too much this and that, which is the black and the white. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, pretty much just a double swipe. I don't know why I put them on opposite sides. I don't, don't I have no idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do. Hey, Andrea. A couple lines. Oh yeah, ordering resin them. from China. Be careful about that because you never really know what's in it, and I don't want you guys having any kind of reaction to anything I haven't used and can vouch for or not. Um, the thing about freezing is that if your resin freezes more than three times, it's going to really degrade the durability and the ability for it to really harden up like it should. No, it's not happening with just the stone coat base colors, but since we always have stone coat as a base color, that's how we're displaying this. We just had it happen with, um, what's that square? It's underneath the circle. Like this piece was really vibrant when he did it, but then, oh, you can't even see it in here because it's so dark. You can see it on the other one. I'll show you guys later. What up, Vamp? Cryptic. It's like the whole fam's here. Is Judy in here? Hi, Kelly. What's up, Trace? Very nice fade, B. I thought you would have gotten it to stretch longer, but it's pretty. Basically, vamp. Aw, oh, thanks, Andrew. I'm glad you like your mystery box. I didn't see Kaylee's live. I meant to tune into that, but we've been doing shipping things, so... It's only happened to me with powdered pigments. Rod, how have you been? He said, E, I want to be part of the fam. You're so part of the fam, Rod. Judy's probably putting a few bucks on red. True. Hi, Miz. Julie said, E, if someone wants an ATD tattoo for real, would y'all be offended? No. I have my artwork tattooed on a couple people. It's giving me little bitty cells, you guys. You can see that. Just little teeny like little tiny ones. ones. So if you don't like really big, crazy cells, then there you go. Susan Campbell said, "My husband asked what I wanted for Christmas. I told him to email you." <laughs> So what's the next move, B? Are we gonna leave it a test or are we gonna turn it into artwork? I'll check I'm Robin. Gonna, I'm gonna make these stretch a little bit here. That sounds beautiful, Linda. And then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show them that if you put it a little bit into, into uh, a little bit of black into the color, you can make it you can make it sell up. Megan, the difference in the countertop and the art coat from Stone Coat is that the countertop has more durability characteristics, um, but the art coat is more UV resistant. Um, they're both very good, and they are both um, like really good on working times. They both withstand up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and are scratch resistant as far as a resin is concerned and they both set up glass top style so absolutely robin basically clara all right so let's put just a i'm gonna put a little tiny bit 
in this. Melinda, you want to know how to do a flood coat? Hi, Steve. I'll put a little bit in this. Um, Moo Gallery will be up by the end of the week. And what up, we'll, Scott we'll, Hill? We'll give it our best. We're rearranging kind of right now for shipping. Have Randy, no it would. Shipping. Hi, Lisa. would take over. My life. So you're just putting a drop of black into all of them? I got it turned it to a completely different color. That's an awesome color. Yeah. It's like a, I don't even know if it's gonna show on camera. Not yet, Lynn. Y'all didn't know that we would go crazy on orders, did you? I, I had no idea. I had no idea. Jen said, E, I got the package today. I'm not saying I had an epic artgasm when I opened it, but my husband now wants hmm, something. To inspect all ATD packages before I look from now on. That's funny. How is Cruz doing? Um, he's back at work. Just trying to, you know, get along with his day-to-day -day routine. Probably just to kind of make life a little, you know, livable. A little more normal. Hi, hey, Erin. I'm such a wuss with tattoos, Scott. You have no idea. When the sides that are perfectly clean and just dumb effect on the top of your painting created by a resin layer. That would just be a flood coat, Melinda. That sounds awesome, Steve. Please, what was put on the canvas first? I will Uber in late. <laughs> um, Kathy, we put down a black and a white spray paint base, and then Jeff put a drop of white into some resin and put it over the black, and he put a drop of black into resin, put it over the white, and that was the base. Okay, I'm caught up. I'm just seeing if this, like the amount of that you put in there, obviously it makes it darker, but. Mm -hmm. It does, um, the iridescents look really good. But the overhead camera is not as true color as the front facing camera. So just so y'all know, these colors are closer to accurate than the other. No, don't worry about it, Jen, but I'll check. No, just not gonna take away the iridescent. Not yet, Andrea. I will check it. Also send me a text um, and let me know what size and color lip piece. So the dome effect is that if that's what you're talking about is when your edges are sharp and clean, 
and you push the resin all the way to the edge and don't let it come over the side and that'll create a dome because if you have a rounded edge your resin will want to pour over and if you have a sharp edge like on our rounds the resin will stop at the sides but it'll keep a dome top i hope that made sense we can do a tutorial Right, Trudy? Wasn't that purple great? I'm going to have to remember that. The names of the new Just Resin colors. Um, Patty, I will absolutely do that. So there's Lemon, Aquamarine, Tidal Blue, Forest, Olive, Deep Purple, Grape, Galaxy Mauve 2, Starlight, and I think another one I can't remember. Oh, Midnight Blue. Hi, Ticey. Those fades look bananas, Jeff. I hope they look good on screen, like. Hug the kid, the, um, what, oh, sun? Sun, I was like. I'm gonna put a stripe of black down the center. Mallory, hug your son goodnight for us. Hi, Moose. We're not done yet. It looks really interesting. I love this, like, watercolor-looking edge that you created on some of these. That's accident. That's accident. Um, I will have lemon yellow in the next four days. How did you remember all those colors? Because I do inventory every other day. And I'm always keeping an eye on what people are wanting in the groups. And so I see all of the names and all of the colors. No worries, Barb. I'm glad you're here. Um, I think they are shipping to Canada. Hasn't Canada opened their um, shipping? That's bananas. It just keeps getting more and more defined. Right? The lemon olive and starlight violet are completely divine. Y'all haven't gotten any of the midnight blue yet because I haven't gotten any to sell. I just got to review it. And it is definitely one of my top colors of 2018 already. <gasps> we should do a 2018 box. That is almost always the case for us, Trudy, with uh, resin art. Um, Zori, I have to put the legs on it. It's one of those things I sat down and have been busy ever since. Um, you can probably add a few drops of the white to the colors as long as you're okay with a more pastel version because the white is a little bit more opaque than the black. So it kind of dulls the color out, whereas the black will deepen that's the color. What I'm, that's kind of what I'm doing. You about I'm, to do the white? I'm gonna do a little bit, a little bit more. I'm gonna just do a, a deep white right here and kind of go through it just to kind of sort of show you. Maybe that's what it'll do. It'll it'll give you a uh, where there's a lot of white and a little bit of white. Not that long, and as long as everything's in stock, shouldn't take more than three three days. Um, Jeff swipe control to make Janet Jackson jealous. Hey, control. Control. <laughs> I love that. If I sand down some dust that ended up in a piece, will it affect the metallic? Yes. Like take the shine off? It will. Avoid sanding over any like metal flake that you put in there. If it has that like awesome top shine that you know is on the top of your piece, do not sand it down because it's gonna take all that off. Just sand around it if you can. Absolutely, Deborah. thank you. I will check it. Right, Paula, isn't it great? I'm so glad you like it. Control. Sandy killed my Maron. It will. It'll. We need to do a video on that just to make sure people know.
You know what I'm thinking? You remember how you told me there's a layer, then a layer, then it won't really work because there's already a layer? Mm -hmm. That's what's happening right here. I figured it would give it a good dark layer, and it's there's already another layer, so it's not allowing it like this. Hi, Melba. Um, Lynn, it, depending on how high the dust particle is, a flood coat should make it ultimately disappear as long as it doesn't stick up too high. It's going to be, Andrew, I'm going to text you control when you're just first in thing in the morning, you're going to have a text from me that says control. Julie, thank you. Thank you, Julie. Night, Angie. Thank you for stopping in. This ought to be interesting. Like, we'll be able to see a very light coat, a little bit more heavier, a little heavier, and all, all these corners are light. We just kept it very light. Is that clear where the cells are? No, that's, that's the, the tinted resin, white and black tinted resin. Will you hold it kind of up to that camera so they can see more like true color? Cause I'm gonna do one better. I love one better. All right, you guys are gonna go for a ride. Thank you for that clarification, Clara. That's that color that was made from putting the black in there, that deeper purple. There's actually black down there, though. I know. I We're going to have to do a true black. color video for in the Facebook group. That almost... Oh, it is green. Like, yeah, because I put the black in it. It looks emeraldy. Yeah. Sounds like I did not get rid of all the sounds. Can Unless that was sound in there. Here. It may have been the sound in there, though, because that... Uh -huh. Is on. Clara, thank you. Y'all are great. I'll be listening to that song after this. Love it. Good job. I can't help it. Y'all can't help it. So... Right, Clara? Isn't it all fam fam here? I saw the reflection of that, and I thought it was a flame, but it's the reflection of the ceiling fan hitting the light. Ah. I thought something was on fire. <laughs> Good job. So we need to do a true color video before we put it away. I'll get a, you have a hair right there. Well, I... I don't see any tweezers. I think they're all over there. Oh, here's some from, from the last class. We haven't. Andrea. Thank you. To stop controlling me. That's just too <laughs> funny. Control. Y'all's minds are going to be blown when you see the true color video. This is the, uh, it looks... Where's that from? I don't know, it's reacting. You have something in right there? Mm-hmm. Nice, subtle little piece. Sue, thank you. Y'all. You're gonna make me ugly cry, just all willy-nilly. I'm being so amazing. And we'll see the true color shining through Cindy Lopper. Leave my head. Who dropped the M word? M? Mm hmm. What is the M? Oh, moist? Y'all just wanted him to say it. 
So by tomorrow, we'll see how well these set or not set or droop or blend or fade or sink or whatever. There you go, y'all. Just posted the true color feed in the group. And so while he's over yonder, I'm going to show you guys our reason why we wanted to test this theory. Because we have this painting that is amazing, but it was so much brighter. It looked more like this round. So it looks like this ended up like this. So it's not that big of a difference, but it definitely is a difference. So we're gonna find out what's up, why it did it, and if this is the reason. No, no, also we can do this. Let's just put all these colors down. Down without a flood coat. Um, okay. I missed something. Leslie, thank you. <laughs> Leslie gave us a couple dollars. Leslie, thank you very much. Y'all are great. All right, Melinda, send me a picture of what you are talking about and I will be happy to help. How much is that round, the little, the 12 incher? Oh, I don't know. Um, I would just sand it in areas that you can, Trudy. That's just what I would do, um, just to make sure some areas have a good tooth. Um, it will be fine. We have pieces that we didn't do a base coat on that, I mean, uh, we didn't sand before doing a second coat and it turned out fine, so. Um, the round is, y'all just going to keep on with the M word. Hi, Valerie. M cake's okay. M cakes are okay. So, what press on that little round? Um, I, I don't know. I love that little round. Let's just do like 75. 75? There you go. Hi, Cheryl. So we did is, a piece already. This is the end of it. Moo, calm down. I wanted to try finger swipes. Get your finger swipe on, B. Elena, thank you. <laughs> So what I did, I just put this Soul. this resin. Got it. We didn't put any flood coat down or nothing. Hi, David. This is straight powders, and and then I put the uh, the black here and the white, so we can just kind of swoop over each other, and we'll see how that turns out. Finger swipes are highly recommended. It's my go-to. Clara, I see you. Chartreuse? Robin, are you talking about the square? Gabby messaged you. Oh, 
What happened to the fingers? Damn, that's muddy. Yeah, Valerie, just order it through the site. It should be still in there. What heat level do you have it on? Let's just say on a scale of one to 10. Uh, for the most part, 10. David, I don't have any stone coat resin. Um, we don't carry it because you can get it cheaper from them than I would be able to sell it. Just don't forget to use the code YALL in all caps and you can get $30 off your $80 order. I think it's the square, Robin. I had your name written on um, a sticky note that was on it. Right. That's exactly right, David. No apostrophe. Have you guys seen the video of a kangaroo boxing a lady by the river and then going after her dogs? I think I have seen that. Have we seen that? I just saw the kangaroo have a hold of a dog, a dog. and the guy boxing the kangaroo. I like how that's almost a negative space, like this part being like a colorful negative. I like how deep a color it is into this light. Also, the black in this completely changed this color. It was mm -hmm. this color. Yeah. Thanks for the support, Andrea. So, what you gonna do with it? Not a lot, but. Um, speechless. The difference between stone coat and art resin is that. Um, Jeff doesn't get resin rash from stone coat and he did with art resin um, art resin Isn't as heat resistant as Stone coat is stone coat has a better UV rating stone coat is Sets more hard than the art resin. It's kind of a softer resin And I'm sure there's other things they're both good brands. Those are just some of the reasons why we prefer this brand to art resin. David, absolutely. Shoot us a text or an email and just let us know when you're coming by. I'll be here. What's tomorrow? Friday? I'll be here all tomorrow. Same, Kathy. Uh, absolutely, senior helpers. I'll message her and make sure she's okay. Star of the Loon is one of my favorite colors, Holly, from Resin Art. And we just put an order in with them today for our website. What's the difference between Stone Coat and Ligari? Um, Ligari will charge you for their secrets and Stone Coat will share. Other than that, I haven't used their resin, so I can't tell you firsthand. Nice swish, Jeff. Swish. Is Monday cool? Yeah, we'll be here on Monday. Um, Robin, soft resin is not that you can stretch it, but it is more malleable. Like you can bow it over things, but Keep in mind that if it's soft enough to bow over something, it's probably not going to hold its shape unless you leave it there for like a month. I'll do a test. How about that? Paula, she told me she was going to come out with a um, mermaid, and as a mermaid, um, 
You know I'm going to carry it. How could I not? Becca says, can I just say I'm super stoked for my apron to get here. Smiley face with the shades. <laughs> Erica, how did the mermaid mold Jeff did turn out? Um, brilliant. I already put it in a mystery box, though. Or I would show you. I kept the Cujo that he did for me, though. Hi, Liz. Star of a loon. Little man. His son is in it. Without mm, a that out. my heart. Without a love. Primrose. I don't know where it is. But it's one of the colors we use often, so it's probably up here or on the shelf that we took out for the class. Oh, yeah, that's where all those paints and powders are, the good ones. Mm hmm. Jeff, are you even capable of making anything not amazing? I mean, both of y'all. Oh, B, I didn't even notice that. Y'all, I'm going to send you a true color one of that one as well. Looking sharp, Jeff. I see a side face with a hat. Give me a couple uh, coasters. I see a side face. I don't know about a hat. I got a skull in my mystery box. The colors look like skin was ripped off someone's face. Well, it's a skull. Kathy, that sounds really gorgeous. I still have that blue geode sour cream. It's one of my favorites, the one with the lights in it. I see Trump in the wind, LMAO. Okay. Yeah, I see that. See that profile? Have you used Galaxy Mob? Um, the OG Galaxy Mob is about to be discontinued, but Galaxy Mob 2 is a really beautiful color, and I have not used it yet. Jeff, I'm waiting on a finger swipe. You can do it on the coasters. I'll do it. Get that finger slide, B. What me? I'm just being supportive. It is raining outside. It's flooding outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not the song it says we sing is Control. GM1. I love that, Zachy. I think I have enough pieces to start an Etsy now, y'all. Super stoked. Congrats, Valerie. That's a big step. Oh, they can hear the rain. Wow. Does it take longer for resin to cure when it's raining? Yes, the humidity in the air hinders the setting process for a lot of e-science reasons, but just know that yes, if it's colder, it takes longer to set up, and if it is humid, it takes longer to set up. All right, let's see here. Um, Artisu is still selling paste, but only their metallic paste, none of their base color paint. It's been snowing there all day. I see you, sweet pea. Yes, we will do a level one pour for sure. 
It's on the board of to-dos. Accidentally. Well, it's still a sale. How fun is that? They are very aggressively against Stone Coat, which is just shitty. There's enough business to go around. They don't have to badmouth. Are you talking about Ligari? Clara says, very proud of you, Jeff. Nice finger swipe. That is elegant. Ass. Ass. Yes. I had no idea they bad mouth Stone Coat. Do you know that Stone Coat had nothing but nice things to say about Ligari when we were up there? And I think even if we told him that Ligari was bad mouthing him, he would still say only nice things because that's what kind of company they are. Um, I've never tried Artisu tents. I don't think Artisu makes tents. Are you talking about art resin tents? Is that the guy that has the monotone? It's the guy that does the floors and thinks it's the most amazing thing ever. And does the countertops that you're just like, mmm. He's colorblind, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. There you go. We got a little bit of marble action. Absolutely, Tiffany. Hi, Sean. Archery Creations, I have used some of their stuff. I have um, a promo pack from them, and it's... They've all been very good paints. Right, Kathy? He's always hype all the time. Well, if he's colorblind, that explains a little, but not the attitude, right? I don't know, that's just... Do you flood coat your coasters before using them? Usually not, Becky. Um, this resin will withstand 500 degrees, but if you are selling them and you have a, a lot of pigment in your resin, you may want to throw a flood coat, just a thin one over just to make sure everything's sealed in and has the heat resistance. In my opinion. Can you imagine like having beef because of resin? What kind of beef is that? Resin beef. Like they're going to show up at the artisan thing. Oh, what's up, bro? Oh my God, that'd be hilarious if Lugari <laughs> like kicked the door in like, yo, I heard we was talking smack. I mean, Vinny. yeah. That was bad. No, it was good. They can be from Jersey. We don't know those people, so we don't Bad know. business to bad mouth the business. That's true. Does art resin hold up to heat? Um, art resin doesn't have the uh, heat rating. It can, like, bow. Julie, thank you. Ah. You're great. I really appreciated you. Julie says, E and J inspire me on the daily. Um, thank you. See, Cheryl says I'm funny. And Molly. I have two people that say I'm funny. Anyways, um, our resin is softer, so it may stick to the bottom of your, like, a hot coffee cup. Well, it's for art, right? I mean, it's for... Thank you, Teresa. Mm -hmm. I love that you can still see your underpainting, and it, so it looks like there's like that faint. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My pleasure, Trudy. I'm a Jersey girl, but don't talk like that. I can't be that off though. Like, I'm sure there's some Jersey people that can't, some have been sometimes are. Y'all are too great. 
Um, you could cover it with countertop resin. I wouldn't do quick coat because it is not um, UV resistant like the countertop coat and the art coat. Seriously though, I always do blind myself with the light. That actually is still a real life thing, Zachy. It's still a struggle. What did Jeff just wipe his hands off with? Alcohol. That's it. It's alcohol on a rag. I'm a dag. Sour cream says you're funny, E. You're what we call in Australia a dag. Dags are fun. I'm gonna like my dag? Like D A G. It's it's a funny like thug term. It's very thuggy. I sound like um what what's his name asked for in uh, the movie Snatch? A dag. Um no, I'm supposed to get the tints in from Color Obsession tomorrow. Super pumped. The struggle is hella real, Zachy, for sure. Rusty, we are way pumped. Judy! Judy, taking we your time off from Chippendales? Okay. She was putting it all on red. Mm hmm. Thanks, Mama Bear. Um, I have to imagine everybody likes dags. I'm going to have to also Google the Urban Dictionary of a dag. Oh, that's good. Daphne says she uses her art resin coasters every day with hot coffee, no problem. So that's awesome. Very good to know. I'm glad that you informed me of that, sour cream. I would have been very confused. Everyone says Judy like I say Judy. With all the whys. And also, everybody is giving me the actual, like, Urban Dictionary definition of a dag, which is apparently sheep's poop still in their butt. This is apparently what? Sheep's poop still in their butt. Hi, Angela. <laughs> It's a term of endearment, and Australians love you guys. This is Kathy. So it's good. It's all good. I can be a lovable piece of sheep's poop. A mermaid one. It is what it is. Oh, yep. That's what I saw, Grandma Kathy. It's both. Okay. In and around a sheep's butt. It is what it is. I can be a dingleberry, basically. Mm -hmm. That's all in the states. That's called a dingleberry. No, it's not. Yeah, a dingleberry is when. That's what hangs off Cujo. But that's what they're saying. It's poop on a sheep's butt, which is. Oh, I thought it said in. Not in on. Even said I just tuned in and sheep's poop. Go south on you. <laughs> what? Can't take him anywhere. Angela, yes, please do. The farmers cut them out. Uh, Paula uses dingleberry in Canada. People are dying laughing. We're murdering people with dingleberries and dags. It's getting really real. Um, Cheryl, that is an almost pit and what you can do is get a really hot water and lay it on that area and it should lay out if it's like next day should help thanks sandy i'm glad you tuned in vam says i'm too sober for this me too sippy sippy y'all We can ship to South Lake. From resin to sheep's poop. Cover it all. 
ATD way after dark. What are you doing? Will you come up here, Moose? Can you come up here with me? Can you say hi to all the people? Y'all, I wish I could bring Moo out for the um, summit, but unfortunately, he's too mooey. And I don't know how he would do on a plane ride that long. Moose! Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Were you getting into trouble? Were you being a dingleberry? Know it. What do we got to do to get E to go live at a club? Julie, I don't know if that's very good for our like channel. You just have to join our Snapchat and then you'll see all of the club going down situation. We don't, we don't, nothing, we don't. It, it's nothing you, crazy. View at your own risk. Yeah, view at your own risk. Um, quick coat, uh, Linda, I'll have to ask. It is heat resistant, but I don't know if it is as heat resistant. And Cujo is called Moo because my niece couldn't say Cujo, but he has little spots like a cow, so she called him Moo, and it kind of stuck. How oh, Moo's. B, are you in there working? I think he's in there working. Fufu's cute little cat name. These are so elegant. That would be a good painting, Be This like Merlot color. Anyways, y'all, I gotta take the moo out before um, he gets really upset with me and does the unthinkable on my feet. He's never going to do that. He's, He's going to put a dingleberry on my foot. It's cute. Babe. It's cute. You're cute. He is such a good boy. Miss, are you a good boy? Are you the bestest one? You need your own YouTube, I think, Moo. I think one day in your studio we'll cure depression. I would hope so. I would hope so. Can baby kisses? Move. Give me baby kiss. Thank you. Anyways, y'all, I gotta take Cujo out. It's raining. It's gonna be horrible and miserable, but you know, do what you gotta do. And I have to answer all the emails, particularly the ones I wrote down. Um, if I haven't gotten to your email, please just forward it to me so it doesn't get lost in the depths of all the emails that I'm trying to go through. Um, have a great night. We love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications. These you can are... You buy all the colors on the website. What? You can buy all the colors on, the, on our website. Oh, yeah. All the colors. Absolutely, Cheryl. Just shoot me an email. Um, and remind me of that so I don't forget. All the colors we use tonight can be found on our website, www.artiststilldead.com. Two T's, two L's. They are all... Um, over here all of our other social media stuff so you can check out the true color video of these pieces in our fan page ATD's poor people we would love to see you guys there we just hit like 3100 people which is bananas <sighs> anyways we love you all be kind to one another because you never know what someone else may be going through make one person smile every day and it will just change the world I swear it will Anyways, bye. I said bye.